Before God, I entered into a covenant to provide prayer for you every day from now until Jesus comes. You'll never be without prayer again. Take advantage of it. Welcome to Morning Prayer. Glory to God. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Morning Prayer Program. It's Thursday. We're excited to be here and come into agreement with you. Look, right before we go around and make sure introduce everybody, I want to get you guys the number 877-281-6297. We have our trained prayer ministers here. We are excited. It's a good day. Today is the day that the Lord has made and it's God's going to do something good today. I am thrilled and excited to have Kurt joining me. Good morning. Uh, to the side. How are you today? Let's do this. It's going to be awesome, isn't it? We're ready to go, ready to pray for people and uh, believe God for testimonies today and miracles, signs and wonders. So amen. We're ready amen. To go. We're in agreement with that. Zuri in the aisle. How are you today? I'm good. I'm so excited. I'm so glad to be here today, standing side by side with our trained prayer ministers Praise to God. pray for all of your prayer requests. Amen. Amen. You know, something Pastor Cherry often says is this. There's something about it. You've heard it on this show before. There's something about it when people who know how to use their faith come together and pray. Here we are, we're using our faith, you're using your faith, they're using their faith. So here we are all coming together and whenever God sees a move of people come together in faith, there's just something about it and he's gonna answer the prayers because the, he, he can't go against his word. Amen. Kurt, why don't you tell us about the free digital download real quickly? Absolutely. You know, one of the great things I love here at KCM is that we, we sow seed. Yeah. And uh, one of the things that we do is sow seed of our products into your life. And so, you know, faith comes by hearing. So, so many times people think, well, you know, it's great for you. No, it comes by hearing. And so we hear the word of God and we put it not just into our eyes and our ears, but into our hearts. And so we want to make sure you get this free digital download, how you call it as how it should be. And it's a great book by Brother Copeland. Amen. And you simply go to govictory.com forward slash morning prayer. Get your free copy, get your download, and uh, share this with a friend or a loved one this morning that needs this great book by Brother Copeland. Absolutely, absolutely. So call 877-281-6297. We're here and we're ready to be in agreement with you. Zuri, what's going on over there in the aisle? Well, we're here listening to all of our, our trained prayer ministers taking your calls right now, believing and receiving all of your testimonies. And I just want to go ahead and get started with a few that I have right here. I have Barbara Kingston. Um, she has faith. She wants favor for promotion and a raise for her husband. You know, we're believing that God's favor is already working in your husband's life and that that promotion is coming to him. I have um, a partner in Collingville. Um, the, fi the family needs finance and a peace of mind. You know, I just want to remind you to stand the word. Matthew 21, 22, whatever you believe in prayer, you will receive by prayer. I also have here Sue and Tempe, healing and freedom for her son. Sue, stand on Galatians 1, 5. It is for his freedom that he has set us free. His love abounds and has no limits. Donald and Deham Springs, wisdom and direction. You know, I want you to stand on Ephesians. The Lord says, let the revelation of God come to you. The wisdom abound towards you. And then the last one I have right here is from Carol and Joliet. She's believing for her healing of complete sight. You know, we're believing, Father God, that you're, you're protecting her eyes. You're protecting her vision, that she will continue to have that 2020 vision this year. Back to you, Holden. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I have Robin from Okeechobee. Uh, believe in God for her past years in a motorcycle accident. We're believing God for total and complete healing and recovery, Robin, from that motorcycle accident in Jesus' name. I have Baldwin from Kyle. Uh, believe in God for shortness of breath. I thank you, Lord, that you are causing those lungs to be filled with air, that you are breathing the breath of life into his lungs, that every prayer he breathes, he breathes in you in Jesus' name. I have Marcia from Wellington. Uh, 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 believe in God to not be, uh, uh, to have a great job in the name of Jesus. We're believing that God is going to place you right where you need to be for this time. And uh, you're going to succeed wherever he places you in Jesus name. Uh, Beverly from Camp Hill, believe in God for Bonnie to be redeemed from the virus in the name of Jesus. The virus is dead. It has no power and Bonnie is redeemed from it and healing uh, for family that no one else is affected. In the name of Jesus, we pray and plead the 91st Psalm. The Bible says, and no plague shall come nigh 
their dwelling in Jesus name. I have Sheila from Virgie believe in God to be healed from back pain right now, Virgie, and just lay your hands on your back and believe God and confess it that I am healed in my back and my back operates exactly how Jesus designed it to operate. I'll, thank you, Lord. And we praise you for that. I want to remind you, 877-281-6297. Call in. We want to have the opportunity to come into agreement with you. We have our prayer ministers that know how to go to the word and know how to pray and see God manifest in your life. Kurt. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Holden. And I want to say all of you that are watching right now on the Victory Channel Facebook page, good morning. Those of you that are watching on Roku, on YouTube, and all of our outlets this morning, good morning. Uh, huge shout out this morning to Laregos, Bernadette, Sheila, Karen. You guys are all, always on every morning. Thanks for bringing your supply. You know, Holden, there's Praise more than God. two of us here. Yeah. Uh, not just our licensed prayer ministers that are behind us, but also all of you that come on every single morning absolutely. and bring your supply and agree with us. And Holden, before we jump into these, a friend of mine uh, sent me this picture and, and uh, asked that we pray. This is her daughter, Amity. Uh, she was in a car wreck. I'm reading it right off of Facebook right now uh, that uh, she was in a car wreck on Monday night and uh, she's a dear friend of mine and she's asking for specific prayer. Her daughter has two collapsed lungs and several broken ribs is in critical condition. And so right now, Melanie, we just come in agreement with yes, you right Lord. now. And you're, the Lord sees your daughter right yes, in that hospital Jesus. room. And we speak healing. We speak peace. You, we speak Jesus. miracles, signs and wonders right now in that hospital room in Houston, Thank Texas. You, and we pray that God, the God of healing, the yes, God of Lord. miracles will touch your daughter Thank and she will rise Jesus. up now. Now, now, rise right up now. right now, Mitty, and God's going to touch you in a powerful way, and you're going to be a testimony for others to see. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. That's powerful. I have Lynn from Shaker Heights. Uh, this is a testimony. She called in yesterday concerning weather storms, asked for prayer protection, and st spoke to the storm, and praise God, there was absolutely no damage. Glory to God. You know, prayer works. God answers prayer. Amen. God is more willing to answer prayers than we are to even ask them. I don't always encourages me that he's not sitting in heaven picking and choosing what prayer he's going to answer. But if you go to the word, he hears it. And if you go to the word, he answers it right now in the name of Jesus. I have Anita from Chester, believe in God for financial increase and healing for her brother, for her eyes, for his eyes to be made whole and open. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for increasing Anita more and more according to Psalms 116. And I thank you for healing for her brother. Lord, your word says that you were anointed to bring sight to the blind. I thank you that his eyes are being open and he will see things clearly in Jesus name. Uh, BJ from Hazelcrest, believe in God uh, for uh, healing um, in his bladder right now in the name of Jesus. Your bladder is totally and completely whole and restored in Jesus name. Barbara from Kingston, believe in God to be healing from the varosis and, and from uh, varicose veins in the name of Jesus. Your veins are healed according to 1 Peter 2 24. And uh, Betty from Summit, believe in God for healing in the whole body and for that the Lord will supply all of her needs. You know, the Bible does say that healing is a need and God made a way for it. Through the stripes of Jesus, you have been made, heal, made whole. And the Bible says that he will meet all of your needs according to his riches and glory. Praise the Lord. So call in and we want to pray with you. 877-281-6297. Zuri, what's going on over there in the aisle? You know what, Holden? That is right. The Lord will meet every single need that you have. Nothing is too small. Nothing is too big for him to handle. I have here Cheryl in Cape, Florida. She's believing for her marriage restoration of her friends and then her sister's healing. We're believing and standing in agreement today that love is of God. In 1 John 4, 7, it says his love was made for you. So we're believing that he is restoring it and bringing it to peace. We're believing for April in Washington, restoration and blessing. Again, we're believing that God's, um, that God's word is upon you. Let the word of God change your heart. Let it mold your mind to bring you that restoration and that blessing. I have Lynn from Shaker Heights, whether, um, whether to produce no destruction. As Holden had read earlier, we had a prayer request um, of someone speaking to that storm. So you speak to that weather, let it not destroy anything that is of yours. And then we have Annie in Tallahassee, Florida. Thank you, Florida, for calling. Health restoration. Father God, we're believing and standing in your word in Isaiah 53. You restore her wounds. You bring her back to good health. Thank you, Father God, for every single miracle that you're working in right now. Back to you guys. Praise the Lord. You know, that's encouraging. I love it. And it happens often, Kurt. Yeah. Whenever we have somebody that calls in with a prayer request and within the same program, somebody calls in with a testimony yeah. of that prayer request yeah. we called in earlier. Somebody called in believing God to be protected from storms. And we already have a testimony about that. Why do I like that? Because it builds 
builds faith. It, it builds hope. If God did it for somebody, he'll do it for you. He is absolutely no respecter of person. He wants all people to experience the fullness of his will. Kurt, what you know, you know one of the things this morning, Holden, as I was getting ready, you know, the, the Lord gave me this download is I have favor. Yeah. You know, I shared that with you. You asked me, you know, hey, what's what's the Lord speaking to you this morning? I have favor. And I want to encourage you today. You have favor. Whatever you, you are dealing Amen. with, whatever you're going through. Kurt, you don't know how big my circumstance it is. I, I don't, but he does. And your words matter. And so I want to encourage you, those of you that are on the Facebook page, put in there. I have favor. I so have favor. You have favor over your cancer situation. You have favor over your finances. You have Amen. favor over your prodigal sons and daughters. And so speak that out today. I felt that as I was getting ready this morning at home that the, our partners and friends yeah. have favor. They well, have Kurt, favor. why do you say that? Because they're connected with us. That's right. This is good ground. This is good it soil. Is. And because you're connected, you have favor. And so Katie, yeah. this morning from Mississippi, you have favor over the healing of your daughter, Bettina. Uh, Apina from Scottsdale, you have favor over your cancer Amen. this morning. You shall walk and live and not die in Jesus Amen. name. Keith from Ohio, you have favor over your healing situation that you wrote down here and you're in the hospital right now Great. and we're speaking Lord. favor over you this morning. Maria from Robstown uh, is asked for healing or prayer for spinal stenosis. You have favor over that situation today. Esther uh, asked for prayer for her daughter, Debbie, having surgery and to ask for prayer for that this morning, Holden. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I have faith from Broken Arrow, believing God to be healed from diabetes. You are healed totally and completely in the name of Jesus. Joyce uh, from uh, Pennsboro, believing God for Danny. He has Kawasaki disease and heart attacks. You know, the Bible says in Psalms 103 that he heals you from all your diseases and all your sicknesses. The heart attacks and the Kawasaki disease has to bow its knee yeah. to the name of Jesus. Amen. As Shirley from Lawrence, believe in God for healing for her sister, granddaughter, and herself. The Bible says that you are healed. I'm reminded of the times whenever the Bible comes and says he, Jesus healed them all. You, your granddaughter, and your sister are all going to be healed in Jesus' name. I have Mary from Granbury, Texas, believe in God to be healed from allergy and sinus, sinuses. She just wants relief. The relief is yours. Jesus came to give you rest in Jesus' name. Donnie from Detroit, believe in God to be in agreement for healing in the whole body. You know, Donnie, we are in agreement. We're in agreement with you. Yeah. The Bible says that if two or more gathered together in his name, Jesus, Amen. the I am is there. We're in agreement with you. We're believing with you. And whatsoever we touch on earth, it shall be done. So Donnie, I am laying hands on this request as a point of contact. You lay your hands on your body wherever you need healing. And we're in agreement right now that your body is totally and completely healed in Amen. Jesus name. You know, Pastor Terry often talks about how important it is for us to pray by the unction. That's what that, that that's what just happened. The unction came to emphasize agreement. So we followed that unction. I want you to watch this video from Pastor Terry about how, why it is so important for us to pray according to the unction by the prompting of the Holy Spirit. Watch this video and we'll be right back. It must be essential for us to pray and to hear for that utterance in the Spirit so that the man or woman of God when they step out to deliver that word in ministry, it, it, the groundwork's already lay, it's already out there. And the support, the supply of the Spirit is right there. And we take hold with it, we draw it out. These words are heavy words, that's why it takes all of us praying. It's easy just to flap your lips and make noise, but that's not, that's not where the power is. Power is when those words come out of the Spirit by the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. The supply of yeah. the Spirit is right there. That's right. The supply for your healing is right there. Yeah. The supply for your deliverance is right there. What are we doing? We're laying hold of that yeah. supply and pulling it into the now. Amen. Amen. And, and we're coming in agreement, Holden. Yeah. You know, not just when they're, they're talking to our licensed prayer ministers, when we're praying over them here, but also our intercessor team that yeah. takes these after we're done Absolutely. and prays over them. And so there's there's power in agreement. Amen. And so we want to make sure that you call in 877-281-6297. I say it all the time that I'm on. Put this phone number in your phone on speed dial. Amen. Because we're here to come in agreement with you. That's all we want to do is to pray for you in the spirit of faith. And uh, Zuri, you have some
some powerful testimonies over there as well. I do. I have a testimony right here. I have one from Julia in Philadelphia. She has been set free of depression. So praise the Lord, you know, and that one specifically touches my heart because you don't know how many people right now are, are fighting with depression because of what the situation has been outside. So I want to remind you, go ahead and download our free digital download, our little mini book by Brother Kenneth Copeland. How you would call it is how it will be. Your words have power and the declaration of your tongue has that power. So please, if you know someone who would really need this, go ahead and try to bless them with this today. Um, we have here Mamantu in California, financial breakthrough and, for, and family protection. Father God, we pray Psalms 91 over them, that your blood is protecting them, that you're bringing them that protection, that you're hiding them under the shadow of your wings. And then we have Pam Rao from Toronto. Thank you, Toronto, for calling. Favor and finances to begin ministry and to buy a home. You know what, Brother Copeland always says, a seasonal harvest is not seasonal. It will continue to become a seasonal thing. If you sow, you will reap. Whatever you bring um, to the Lord, He will multiply it in full. So I wanna go ahead and remind you, please call us 877-281-6297. Back to you guys. Amen, wow. amen, 877-281-6297. We wanna see Jesus manifest in your life and we wanna come into agreement and see it happen. Kurt, I heard hey, you had a testimony. Yes, uh, Kathy from Crescent City called the morning prayer broadcast yesterday morning Praise for God. prayer for favor in court to have God's peace and truth to be revealed and it happened. Glory uh, to the Lord. Uh, you know, people from the top of the world to the bottom yeah. and all the way around, you know, that's the power of social media today. Amen. And right now, uh, Saif from uh, Egypt is watching us right now. Good morning. Hello. Egypt. Egypt and is praying for wisdom and guidance for healing. Wow. Uh, also, Denise called in from St. Thomas, the island of St. Thomas, uh, granddaughter, deliverance from spirit of suicide. So right now, we're going to stop. Yes. Right now. And we're going to speak Thank to that Jesus. spirit right now. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there there's is freedom. freedom. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty. Liberty, yes, And right Lord. now, in Jesus' name, we come Thank in agreement you, with Denise as she has called in from St. Thomas to pray for her yes, granddaughter. Lord. Father, as she has called our licensed prayer ministers, as Holden and I come in agreement yes, with Zuri, Jesus. Lord, we pray for Denise's granddaughter right now that she will be yes, set Lord. free. Father, wherever she's at, Lord, we ask, freedom. Lord, that the spirit of freedom touch her from right, right now from the freedom. top of her head to the soles of her feet. Father, everything that freedom. she is uh, being bound by, be loosed in Jesus name. Yes, Jesus. Father, we thank you for a good report. We thank you for this praise report. Yes, and we Lord. thank you, Father, for Denise for calling in. And Lord, we call her blessed today praise in Jesus name. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. I have Mary from Douglasville believe in God for healing for herself and her friend. In the name of Jesus, you are healed totally and completely from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. And what we do, we're sending forth the word and it is healing you in Jesus name. I have, uh, excuse me. I have uh, Kaylin from Boone, Colorado, believe in God. Uh, her prayer request is that the DA will drop the charges against her in Jesus' name. It's all a misunderstanding. We're believing God for favor for that situation, that whatever needs to be brought to light will be brought to light in the name, in, in Jesus' name. I have Laura from Winchester, believe in God for healing. I have Natalie from LaCrosse, believe in God for her sister, healing and peace of mind. You know, we talked about that right before the show. The, the, we were praying and the anointing just fell whenever we were praying for people's minds. In the name of Jesus, we're yes. believing that everybody watching, Kurt just yes. read a phenomenal prayer request that's going to turn into yeah. a testimony. And we're believing God for the yeah. fullness of minds to be absolutely set free and that all fear will be broken and they will walk in power, love, and a sound mind in Jesus' name. At Phyllis from Matthew, believe in God for healing from her daughter, physical and emotional. There it is. We're believing God for emotions to be healed, for minds and mentalities to be healed and for the physical body to be healed because uh, Jesus paid for all of it to be healed in Jesus' name. I have John from Austin, believe in God for protection. We plead the 91st Psalm over you. I have Claire from Mount Vernon. This is a testimony. She got prayer yesterday and her precious dog got immediately healed. Praise, Praise God. the Lord. He got immediately healed. That's a testimony right there. And I have Laverne from Belleville. Son will be okay in surgery as healing speedily as he encounters a speedy recovery. We're believing God for that. He will, he will recover miraculously like he's never, like like the doctors haven't ever seen in Jesus name. One more, and then we'll go to Zuri. I have Linda from, France, uh, from Fresno, California, believing God for peace and family and for her mother and brother to be healed. 
in the name of Jesus, we are in agreement with you right now. Zuri, what's the atmosphere like over there? Well, I am hearing victory coming through these phones today. We're declaring in faith that everything that you have and you bring to the Lord, the Lord will provide for. He will abound and meet all of your needs. So please continue to call. We want to hear your testimonies. 877-281-6297. I have Catherine believing for favor and healing and protection for her friends. We're standing with you in agreement and we're declaring the word of God that you are protected, that you will have everything that you so need and desire. We have Georgia from Tuxen. Thank you so much for calling, but um, believe for protection of the rain for her and the firefighters. So you know what? We're believing and standing that God is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. So for, have faith that God will always be protecting you everywhere you go and protecting all of our men in uniform. We're also believing for William in California. Thank you, for California, for calling. Favor with the city council to get his business. We're believing the favor of God is shining upon you, that everywhere you go, the Lord is shining his grace and mercy on you. Christy in Florida receiving healing, um, believing for healing for her cancer and tumors. We're believing today and declaring the word of God upon your life. There is nothing that God cannot do for you. Standing faith with him. And remember something Brother Copeland always says, we are the only creatures who have the power to speak. So let your tongue be your sword. Let it be that armor that God has provided for you. And then we have a testimony here from Bridget in Ellington. Her daughter was needing a job and she and she received a call offer yesterday. So thank you, Lord, for being a God of provision. Thank you, Father God, for providing and meeting every single one of her needs. Back to you, Kurt. Oh, thank you so much, Zuri. You know, one of the things we want to remind you of is to call us, you know, 877-281-6297. You know, that number's there for you. Um, don't, don't take your situation on yourself. Let us come in an agreement with you. That's why we're here. That is Amen. the only reason why we're here, our licensed prayer ministers, to come in agreement with you. And so 877-281-6297. Of course, I see everybody that is on our Victory Channel Facebook page. Uh, and we have prayer ministers that are there to pray with you yeah. and agree with you from Minnesota to Louisiana to Nigeria uh, to India to the UK to Australia, literally from the top of the world to the bottom and all the way around the middle. And we want to encourage you to get our free digital download today. How you call it is how it will be. Again, your words matter. And so we want to make sure you get this free download. It's totally free of charge. Go to govictory.com forward slash morning prayer and get this great book by Brother Copeland. Holden. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Kurt. You know, it really is amazing to see where everybody's calling from. That you, you have a connection of believers around you that we're linking arms together with every single prayer request from California to Florida to Nigeria. We've had Egypt. We had Toronto. You have your brothers and sisters all around the world coming into agreement. And they're not just watching. I believe that they're not just watching, but they're praying and in agreement with you to see Jesus manifest himself in your life. I have Barbara from Columbus, believe in God for a safe, stable place to live. I have Betsy from Georgia, believe in God for financial increase and a new home. I have Jeannie from Minden, believe in God for land and family protection. Someone came to help uh, cut down her branches. That's a testimony. Praise the Lord. Thank God for him sending laborers across to help those that had that in need. I have Susan from Marble, uh, Marble Falls to be healed from seizures. I have Barbara from Hamilton, Ohio, believe in God for favor for her grandson to get a good job. We're in agreement with you right now. I have Donna uh, from Newborn, believe in God for Paula, favor to sell a house quickly. I have Shelly from Harvard, believe in God for healing in her knees. And Sandy from Elkton, uh, believe in God for healing and wholeness. You know, one of the most amazing things I've heard Pastor Jerry talk about is she'll go through the list of the names of God. Mm. Jehovah Rapha, the Lord my healer. Jehovah Nisi, the Lord my banner. Jehovah Jireh, the Lord who provides. And then all Jehovah, the, the Lord is our shepherd, the Lord of hosts. And then she walked through and explained all those different things, but then she gets to the name <laughs> of Jesus. And yeah. all those names that yeah. God is identified with in the Old Testament right. is wrapped up in one name. That's right. The name of Jesus. So whenever we hear these prayer requests, whether it be healing, whether it be provision, whether it be protection, Call whether it be deliverance, we profess the name of Jesus. Philippians 2 says that it's the name that every name and knee and tongue has to bow and confess that is Lord. And when we say that name, 
things has to line up. So right, right now we profess the name yes. of Jesus over all healing, over all provision, yes. over all homes, over all houses, yes. over all minds. And we command that that name take authority and take root in every situation in Jesus name. Yes. And we want to come into agreement with you in the name. 877-281-6297. Zuri, what's going on in the aisle? Right here, I have a prayer minister just continuing to pray for you. So please continue to call us. We want to hear for you. This program was made with you in our mind. So please call us 877-281-6297. I have Kay from Minnesota. Thank you, Minnesota, for calling. She's believing for unity in her family. We're believing that you have it. God is restoring your family, bringing it together to the way it was created and intended to be. We have Lori in Idaho. Thank you, Idaho, for calling. She want, She's wanting healing for her friend, Sharon. You know, we're standing in agreement and believing in Psalms 32 where it says, call to me and I will heal you. Call to me and I will save you. So we're standing in agreement on that scripture upon your friend's life. I have Esther from Chanute. Um, her daughter's having a tooth pulled today from the dentist. So we're believing that the Lord is guiding that dentist's hand, that there will be no pain in your mouth, that you will have quick recovery in Jesus' name. I have Joan from Seymour. Um, I have a prayer request and a testimony from her. She is praying for a local lady that has heart issues. Father God, we thank you that Isaiah 53 says, by your wounds, we were healed. And then her testimony is, her relationship has been restored with her son. So we thank you, Father, for answering prayers. And we thank you, Father God, for bringing this family back together. Back to you guys. Praise the Lord. Kurt, who do you have over uh, there? Karen called in from Michigan, asked for prayer for their sisters. Karen, Margaret, and Marsha uh, overcoming cancer. Yeah. Uh, Charles uh, called in, asked for, uh, he's been having a hearing, he, hearing problem and his wife's hip needs healing. And so we pray for that. Charles, your, your wife and you are healed this morning yes, in Jesus' Lord. name. Tammy called in from Georgia. Mother-in-law uh, has COVID-19 and she's healed in Jesus' name. Jesus you, know, speak, name. you know, I said at the beginning, we have favor, Holden. Yeah. And we have holding, we have uh, we have favor over every situation. Yeah. And so your words matter. And what you say, what comes out of that mouth matters. And so we want to encourage you today, speak to that mountain, whatever that may be, and let us come in agreement with you. Simply call 877-281-6297. Our licensed prayer ministers are here to come in agreement with you. Also, those of you that are joining us all on Facebook, YouTube, Roku, and all of our other uh, social media channels as well. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. We just got the notification. We're just under three minutes left. But you know, just because we go off the air here doesn't mean that our prayer ministers got off the phone. No, 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 no. They're here all day. 877-281-6297. Uh, we want to, they want to come into agreement with you. We want to come into agreement with you and we want to see, I say it all the time. We want to see Jesus manifest yes. in your life. That's what it's all about. It's all about seeing him. When our prayer gets answered, who gets the glory? It's not us. It's not our prayer ministers, it's God. That's right. God gets all the glory. Amen, amen. I have Michelle from Margaret, believe in God for healing for Joel. I have Rhonda from Liberty, for believe in God for her son, for healing and salvation. Right now, Rhonda, in the name of Jesus, according to Matthew chapter nine, angels are being sent forth and their uh, or, uh, laborers are being sent forth and they're gonna pull in the harvest of your son in Jesus' name. You watch and see, and it's gonna be quicker than you think. And I wanna hear the testimony about it. I have Paula from Bono, believe in God for grandson sons and their wives to uh, all to be saved. Right now we're in agreement with you that the same laborers are going across and they're pulling in the harvest that God so desperately wants. I have Kathy from Crescent City, believe in God for healing of family members and from lung, for, uh, from lung issues. Right now we're believing God that those lungs, that God has breathed in them the breath of life and they operate and totally and completely uh, exactly how God designed them to operate in Jesus name. You know, Kurt, we have a, um, uh, a quote right back here on the back wall that you can't see. I think they might have a picture of it, but it's simply this. Every letter is a life. Yeah. We've had a lot of prayer requests come in today and there's going to be more come in and you're not just a name on a piece of paper. That's right. I can't, we can't say that enough. You're a life. You have things going on yeah. and God loves you and we love you. And we want to see everything in the spirit of faith. We want to see everything that you're believing for come to pass yes. and manifest because we want to see the fullness of his word take place in your life. Zura, we have just under a minute. Give us one or two more. 
have here that I really want to read. It's Denise from Del Rio. She's praying for her 99-year-old mother, and we're believing and praying that the Word says, I will bless you all the days of your life. So age is just the number. The Lord will continue to work and heal you. And I have Bridget from Ellington praying for her seizures. We're believing, Father God, we call those seizures to stop, that you will restore her nervous system, that you will bring it all back to the way it was created. Amen. Back Amen. To you guys. Kirk, Amen. what an amazing program yes. we've had today. And, you know, we, again, we want to remind you, 877-281-6297. Uh, whatever you're going through, we want to come in agreement with you. And so if it's later on today, later on tonight, tomorrow, we're here for you. Praise the Lord. Hey, exciting news is happening at EMIC this weekend. We have Mylan and Christy Lefebvre coming in. You can go to EMIC.org to register for either the 9 or the 11 service. We want to see you there. And remember that we love you, God loves you, and Jesus, Jesus is Lord. Lord.